I have a greater affinity for cymbals than I do for snare drums. And if you're new to this channel, uh, obviously go away and have a look at my ramblings about snare drums. But uh, I have way more cymbals than I do snare drums. And this particular cymbal I have probably had for, I'm going to say 15 years. I, I actually don't really have much of a recollection of buying it. I don't remember how much I paid for it, um, which is a bit of a shame, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, I probably would have got it through uh, a, a paper classified ad. Um, I don't think I would have bought it from eBay. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I don't think I would have done. Um, the symbol, as you'll have seen, is a Sound Creation New Dimension Dark Ride 18. And it is in new, new old stock condition. It, there's, a, there's a few little sort of grubby finger marks on the bottom, but uh, you've got the Peisty logo there, which uh, is in pretty much 100% uh, you know condition. And certainly the logos on the top are also the same. Now I've never, I, I've never gigged this symbol. I have never even put it on a kit. Um, I've hit it a few times with a stick, and that is it. And really, I just, I kind of, I wanted to keep this this symbol as a timepiece more than anything else. Um, this, this, the 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 sound creation line uh, came out in '75 and ended in 1991, and the new dimension range uh, came out in 1985. And this particular symbol is dated 1986, uh, so obviously a year or so after it, uh, after the range came out as a, well, sort of a sub range in the uh, sound creation line. And the reason I've really never played it, well, there's two reasons really. First of all, I'll just I, I've got to the point now of of owning it where I'm just too scared to play it because I don't want to get any marks on it I just want to keep it as pristine as I possibly can and you know leave it there which isn't really ideal because these things should be played and all of my other symbols pretty much are played and used and uh, I've got some symbols on the kit here um, you know I've got a, an 18 inch 2002 which is uh, about seven years older than than this and uh you know it's dirty and it's you know it but you know it sounds great and uh, you know you should play cymbals but this this for me is an exception i will do a sound file uh which you will see in a second and hear in a second but um i'm not going to put it on the kit i'm not going to play it i'm just you know i've got another uh sound creation symbol a 20 uh which is a bright uh, is it a bright? I think it's a bright medium. I've got a bright ride and I've got a bright medium, um, but uh, that I've only, I've played once. I've gigged it once soon after I bought it. But as I said, I mean this. I I um, I've just got no desire to to play it or, or gig it or do anything with it. You know, eight, eighteen inch ride symbols are a bit of a funny thing. Uh, I've got. I'm going to say I've probably got half a dozen Peisty 18-inch rides, just as a round figure. It may be slightly less than that. But um, the, the really, I mean, this actually has, has a nice sound to it. Uh, it's got quite a, a nice body to it. Um, but uh, for me, 18-inch ride cymbals can be very hit and miss. I've got an 18-inch 2002 heavy ride, which you probably wouldn't know it was an 18 unless you saw it. It's got a very thick, um, definite sound to it, and I really like that. And I actually have that and an 18-inch 3000. I think it's just a straight ride, uh, which I which I basically take out and, and gig with. The 3000's got a slightly thinner, less defined, a little less heavy sound. It's got a it's got a defined tip sound, but it's it's not quite as heavy. So the, between the two of them, I tend to swap them out uh, for the odd different songs, and that works well. But you know, sometimes 18 inch symbols, 18 inch ride symbols tend to be a little bit of hit and miss. So, but this this has got a really nice sound to it, and. Um, you know, as I said, I'm, I'm going to keep this 
uh, basically as is. I'm never going to gig it. I'm, I've no need to, and uh, you know it's going to basically stay in my flight case next door. But uh, anyway, this is what it sounds like. Uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching.